so, um... I need to know the etiquette of this place. Are there any customs I should follow? Understood. So it's important to eat quickly then. Sounds sensible. I imagine said eagerness shows respect to the chef as well. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit. Hmm. What a fascinating flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Chef de Cuisine? You talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss. Can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry, um, my imagination got the best of me. I'd been wanting to try ramen for a long time. Do you find that unusual? Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So, I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future. Oh, I didn't notice the time. We should be going. Relax to the sound that goes around, 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 around. 
looks good. Just to be safe, we should adjust the amount of fertilizer and make sure they get enough sun. They look like they're growing fine now. <sighs> what a relief. Oh, I only lent a helping hand. I'm sure tending them is important. But it's all thanks to the plants themselves for being so strong. You know, after I treated the plants when they were sick, I kept coming back here to check on them. I noticed that the spots where we had cut off the leaves were already sprouting new ones. And in just a little while, they were healthy and green all over again. Maybe I'm making a big deal of this, but it made me realize that life is actually quite amazing. It didn't matter that they had been weakened or had damaged parts. Just giving them a little support was enough for them to show how strong they really are. Yes, it really gave me hope. I think in a lot of ways, we're just like them. I'm not sure how to say it, but I hope I can be as resilient as these plants are. I think I'll check on the plants one more time, just to show my appreciation. Maybe if I keep thanking them, they'll grow even healthier. Alright, that should do it. Shall we head back down? Hmm. What am I drawing? Why this? It's been a while. That voice! I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. All his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now, I'm afraid to die. Hey, Jidori, hurry it up. Medea, let's go.
tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Eating fast is kind of my thing. You don't eat quick at my place? My siblings will pick everything clean. <laughs> don't worry, your food's safe. Take your time. Oh, that was almost a personal best for me. Oh, get this. I've got a race lined up at another school. The coach from a big-time athletic college is gonna be there. You know what that means? If I do well enough, I might score a scholarship. Right? Then I could keep doing track. I'd pretty much given up on going to college. We just don't have that kind of money. And I heard about the chance for a scholarship, so... You can imagine why I jumped on it, right? I'm gonna win this thing and go to college. And maybe... This will make my mom's life a little easier. Yeah, you're right. It's a relief to hear you say that. I always think how different things would be if my dad were still alive. If he were here, my siblings wouldn't have to worry about whether or not they'd get to eat every day. Well, complaining won't accomplish anything. I'm just gonna have to try for that scholarship. Chicken is almost over, and it's my turn to cook tonight. I'll catch you later. me as I make the coffee. Thank you. Okay, the beans are freshly ground and accurately measured. The water is about 90 degrees Celsius. Now, the pace and angle when pouring the water are really important. All right, here I go. Pour slowly and quietly in a circular motion. You'll know you're doing it right when it starts smelling really good. It's not exactly what you'd get at a cafe, but I think I've improved a lot. There's so much to consider when making coffee. I get why people are so particular about it. Um, I know it's a bit weird to ask at this point, but when do you feel like drinking coffee the most? Well, that does seem to be common for a lot of people. The taste and smell are a signal to start the day. It's sort of like flipping a switch in your head. When my mom was still alive, the house used to smell like this every morning. Now I realize how often she'd make coffee, even on days she was busy. I saw on TV the other day that smells and memories are linked closely together. The smell of coffee reminded me of my mom. I wonder if it'll remind you of the times we spent here. Drinking coffee together. Well, I better try extra hard when I'm making coffee for you then. And it'd be pretty sad if you only remembered my coffee being bitter. I feel like I haven't gotten into something like this for a long time. 
I also think it's helped me practice staying focused. Maybe it's because I've been doing it so diligently. Anyways, thanks a lot. Because of you, I think I understand the taste of coffee a little better now. Besides, if my mom liked it, I'm sure I will too. Oh, there's still more if you want a refill. I've gotten a lot better now, so I hope you'll join me again sometime. Next time, it's gonna be even better than it was today. to the fourth floor and please hurry what's going on yamagishi detected a presence other persona users they're outside tartarus other persona users you don't mean strega <sighs> they're still alive those bastards First the dark hour doesn't go away, and now Strega's back? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Huh? No, she's... she's inside! Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori! She hijacked the transmission? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. <sighs> Yamagishi! I'm... okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! What? Junpei, come back! This is almost certainly a trap. But it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning, so choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> 